Hi guys, welcome to Tech Tutorial Guide. In this video, now I am going to show you how to install KitKat and Galaxy Core Prime. And this tutorial will also applicable for those users who have installed Lollipop and if you wanna downgrade your device to KitKat Mint, so you can also watch this video. So before that, if you need some of the pre-requirement, you are Galaxy Core Prime device and USB cable and your device, your PC must install the USB drivers or DIN downloader as well as the KitKat stack firmware so i have all a leave a link in description to download this so you can check it out there so here you can find out you need to download this stack kitkat version depends on your country you need to download the firmware so i have selected the india firmware so you can check it out there so i have downloaded from some firmware so i will leave a link to download this so you can check it out there and you need to extract this so because we need to obtain their top file to flash via Odin so Odin only supports tor files to while flashing to Samsung devices so inside that folder you can find that tor file so you need to download your firmware depends on your country region here yeah, after extracting uh, you can find the tor file inside the folder you must install the USB drivers otherwise you your PC, sorry, your Odin on detect your device in download mode. So here you can find we have a tor file. So because I need to cut out in separate folder, so here you can find. Now I'm pasting here, so it would be easy while selecting the tor file inside Odin. So I am using Odin zero version three point zero seven, and inside that you can find the PDA section. Or oh, in version 3.09 and 3.10 you can't find the PDA instead of video you can find AP if you have a latest version of your yeah, what it means you need to select AP or else if you have the version 3.07 means you need to select the firmware in PDA section so here you can find out the we need to find out the top file that we have extracted lately here you can find out I have selected the top file that we have extracted already. So after that it would be detected the top file would be detected by Odin. So here the file would be detected on PDA section if you have version 3.10 means it would be shown on AP. So what we have to do means we need to place our mobile at download mode by pressing you need to power off your device after that press volume down and home key and power key at the same time to place your mobile at download mode and then after press up volume up to continue and then after connect your device to a pc so keep in mind you must install the usb drivers otherwise it won't detect the device in download mode so here you can find out we have it uh, the original thing it is available in com so then after click on start and it will start the flashing process a little let you can find the flashing process will be started and now flashing so it would take some amount of times and you must have to backup your data before flashing the kitkat files so you need to backup your contacts messages or whatever you need to take a complete backup before doing this because it will completely erase the system partition and data partition inside your device so backup before doing this and it will completely take 5 to 10 minutes so be patient until so don't disturb the usb cable and if you have disconnect the usb cable from or else your pc have uh, shut down due to the low battery or else your power mobile has shut down due to the low battery power means it can't able to recover your device so completely charge your device and you must have the cp ups backup before doing on your computer so during flashing process if you have suddenly disconnected your device means it completely unrecoverable so you can't able to use your device so be careful while doing this process so i think it would be completely 80 percentage has been flashed out 
so some of the pc won't detect the device it would be cause the usb driver so you need to update the usb drivers so here you can find modem is flashing right now and catch that img partition so here you can find now it will be showing resetted it, it will automatically reset the device after that you would be you, here you can find the android upgrading logo so here it will be rebooting many several times during after the flashing process so you don't bother about that so here it would be showing the samsung logo that means we have successfully flashed out the kitkat on our device if you have already updated your device to lollipop means if you don't want to install uh, if you don't interested with lollipop means you can easily have downgrade with your device with this method and this will also applicable for downgrading your device from lollipop to kitkat so here you can find out the in setting section in about phone you can find out i'm having the kitkat installed on my device so that's all guys thanks for watching please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends if you have any kinds of doubt please fulfill in comment section down below as i will respond as much as possible so share with your friends it may help them so bye bye guys we will see you in next video